Welcome back to Altitude University, Hunter here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my top 10 cap cut tips and tricks. So tip number one is to use the trim tool. So to do this, all you're gonna do is select on one of your clips by pressing it, and you'll see on the left and right are those white bars and if you drag those, you can make your clip longer or shorter on both ends, just like that. So tip number two is to use the split tool. So this tool is actually gonna make a cut right in the clip wherever you are on your timeline. So if I'm right here and you can see when we're selected, you have the split option down on the menu bar. If you press it, it's gonna make a cut right there and you'll see that now this section is split up. So you can now delete one of these sections if you want, or you can make adjustments from there. Tip number three is super important, and that's the resize tool. So you can see this footage right now is 16 by nine, which is this format. And say you wanna have this full frame for Instagram Reels or TikTok, all you're gonna do is reformat the size. So if you scroll over here on the menu bar, you're gonna see the format option, and you can press that, and you'll see you're gonna have a lot of options here. So nine by 16 is gonna reformat for your phone, one by one, four by three. Um, there's a bunch of different options. Um, nine by 16 is full frame for your phone. So if you're making this for social media, you're gonna wanna use this. And you'll see if you just drag your footage in like that, it's gonna resize your clips. And then all you need to do if your other clips are different format as well, is just go into them. And all you need to do is select your clip and just drag it with two fingers until it fits the frame. And one last clip right here, gonna do the same exact thing. Click on it, drag it, and bring it in, just like that. So tip number four is to use the rotate tool. So to do this, all you're gonna do is select one of your clips and drag with two fingers, just like this. And then if you rotate, you'll see the degrees there are gonna rotate your clip. So it gives a really cool effect, and you'll see it's a lot different perspective than if it's just straight on. Tip number five is using the crop tool. So to do this, click on one of your clips, go down to the menu, and go to edit right there, and then press crop. So you can do a lot here, uh, messing with the footage. So you'll see this is gonna crop it out, rotating it, and that's gonna crop it, rotating it the other way. So you can really play with this however you want. And then you could even go in and reformat them from here as well if you want. So this is a great tool to use if you need to resize your clips. Tool number six is mirroring your footage. So if you wanna flip it horizontally or vertically, you can do that by using this tool. So if you select your footage and you go to the edit tool, you're gonna to see you have the mirror option right here and you'll see it's gonna flip it horizontally just like that. So it's a great tool to use. And if you wanna flip it vertically, what you need to do is press rotate and rotate it 180 degrees. And then if you flip it, now it's mirrored perfectly vertically. Tool number seven is extremely important and that is adding audio. So all you're gonna do is press on the add audio button right here and you're gonna see you have a few different options. You're gonna wanna go to sounds and you can connect your TikTok in so that you can get your favorite sounds straight from TikTok into here or you can get them from your device, your recommended songs, or if you have your songs that you favorited through this app as well, you can download them from here. All you're gonna do is go in, you can listen to them, and if you find the one that you like, just press the plus button, and it's gonna drag the song right into your video. Tip number eight is a great one, and it is adjusting speed. So to do this, all you're gonna do is press on your clip and go to speed, and you're gonna have a few options. You have the normal, which is gonna move it straight up linearly, or you can do curves. So let's look at normal here and we can adjust the speed from one time to two times and watch how much faster it's gonna play now. You could even go faster, you could go to five times, very, very fast, but let's take a look at it. So much faster, doesn't look too great like that. Maybe something in the middle right here, one and a half times will look good. Let's take a look here. That looks awesome right there. So you can go and play with this. Let's look at the other option as well. There's a few options in here. Let's say you wanna do flash out into the next clip. You see it's gonna speed up right there. And you can go in and edit that more and adjust the keyframes. So you can delete that beat there and make it slowly go in so that that speed there is at one times. And then this, maybe it slowly speeds up to two and a half times like that. It slowly gets faster. One more time. So play with those to your liking and see what fits best depending on the speed of your clip. Tip number nine is adjusting the volume. So all you need to do for this, if you have multiple layers of audio or if you just wanna turn down the volume of the song that you have playing in the background, all you need to do is press it, go to volume and just turn it down. So right here, you'll see it's lower. It starts at 100, which is 100% volume and I can lower it. So this is about 50, like that. As opposed to that, it's at 100. 
that way high. You can really turn it up. So play around with the volume adjustments. It works really well, especially if you have multiple layers of sound and you want all them to flow together nicely. And last but not least is tip number 10. This is a great one for social media and this is adding text. So with your TikToks and Reels, it's a really good way to keep your viewer engaged by having text come up on the screen during your video. So to do this, all you're gonna do is press the text button right there, add text, and you can put in anything you want. So I could say the location of here, I can have that come up and then you can adjust the font of it. You can adjust the style, anything you want. So you could see there's different styles. You know, you could add you could add strokes to it. You could have different effects. So you can see there's a bunch of different options here. I like to keep it simple, but just play around with these and find what you think looks best. And once you select it, all you need to do is from tip number one, remember how you can adjust the length of certain things just like that. You can have it come up right there. Maybe you want it to be a bit smaller, something like that. And then you can do the same thing for the next piece. So you do copy, boom, drag it over. And maybe right here you want to put, you know, the dates you were there. So what I'm gonna do is just edit this text right here, press the edit button and change what the text says. So put the dates here, boom, something like that. And then all you need to do is just make sure you have it centered and zoom in, make sure you get it right to the end of your clip. And you can do this with any text you want, play with it, you could change the font, the style, the animations, whatever you want. So I hope this video was super helpful. These are my top 10 tips I use in all my CapCut editing. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course, 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.